In today's video, I show you how to install and configure SuggestR. SuggestR is designed to automate media content recommendations and fetch requests. It reviews recently watched content from Plex, Jellyfin, and MB. Then it searches for similar titles using the TMDB API. If you're looking to expand your media library, look no further than SuggestR. Let's get SuggestR set up. Let's jump over to Unraid and get started. Here we are in the main page. I'm gonna jump over to the apps tab, go into there, click in the search box and type SuggestR, S-U-G-G-E-S-T-A-R-R. -R. Gonna search for that, shows one result. Once you find it, go ahead and click install. Now I'm gonna check and make sure that the port is not in use by another container. So I'm gonna scroll down here and expand show Docker allocations, go back up to the web UI port, double click so it's highlighted, hit control F on the keyboard to open the search feature and it shows it's clear. It's also showing the container port is 5,000, so let's look for that too. They both showed one, so it should be good to use. At this point, I can hide Docker allocations, drop down, and select apply. And while it's installing, why don't you come join us in Discord? There's lots going on there. Come join us. It's a good time. Once that's done, go ahead and click on done. All right, now let's go up to the Docker tab, click on Docker. We'll find suggest R in the list. Over on the right, I'm going to turn on auto start. Back over on the left, I'm going to click on suggest R's icon, drop down, and select web UI. All right, now we're in SuggestR. We've got seven steps to complete to get it fully set up. Step one is picking your media server. I'm gonna choose Plex, but if you're using Jellyfin or MB, then go ahead and select that option. Once you've got yours selected, click on next step down below. For step two, it wants a TMDB API key. If you don't already have one, which I'm assuming you don't, this link here, the movie database, you can go click on that, create an account there. Let me show you how to do that real quick. I'm gonna right click on the link and open in a new tab. I'll go to that tab, then up in the top right, we're gonna click on login. If you have a login, you just log in here. If you don't, right up here where it says get started, we're gonna click there to create an account. Username, let's pick a username. I'm gonna call this Alien Tech 42 Password, four characters minimum, not very secure. I'm gonna choose something for my password manager to make it a bit more robust. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in and confirm the password, and then I want an email address. Go ahead and enter your email, and then click sign up. Now wants to make sure you're human, go ahead and hit begin to start the process. Which ones are curtains? Next up here, it wants us to verify our email account. So jump over to your email, find the email from them, verify, and then sign in. I verified mine off screen, so I'm going to go ahead and paste in my password here and hit login. All right, now we're logged in, let's go get an API key. In the top right corner, I'm gonna click on my avatar icon up here, drop down and select settings. Then over on the left, You'll find a list of settings here. Near the bottom, we're gonna find API. That's the one we want. Go ahead and click on to there. Under API, you'll find TMDB offers a powerful API service for free for personal use. This is for our personal home server. So we fit under that category. So down at the bottom, we can request an API key, which is right here. Is this intended for personal use? Yes, it is. Application name, you can name it whatever you'd like. I'm just going to name mine suggest r dash and then demo as it's for my demo server application url just go ahead and put in a url for your application i know we don't have one so i'm just putting in my website here whatever domain that you've registered you'd put in there next down we've got type of use this is going to be personal next we've got application summary and for that i'm just going to put in for use with personal suggest r then under contact info, you just put in your personal information, first name, last name, email address, phone number. All these fields are required, so you're kind of stuck. And I'll be filling out this information off screen. But once you've got that filled out, put a check mark down here where it says, I understand and agree, and then hit subscribe. Let me do that real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, that step's done. You should see you are currently on the free developer plan, which is what we want. Down below, we're going to click on access your API key details here. Here you'll find your API read access token and your API key. The API key is what we need, so go ahead and highlight that, copy it, go back to SuggestR, and we'll paste that in. We'll hit the little play button over on the right to check it, come back green, which means that it worked. Go ahead and hit next step. All right, now we're on to step three. We need to log in with Plex. Go ahead and hit log in with Plex. Your account should come up here. If not, you can select use a different email address, and then you'd select your account there. This is the one I want, so I'm gonna hit sign in. It says I'm successfully signed in, I can close the window. Go ahead and close it. Now we need to drop down and select a Plex server. 
Click the little drop down arrow and select your server from the list here. I'm going to do my local IP address, the one that I typically go to, which is going to be my server address, the 10.0.0.11. We'll hit the little double circle arrows, and then that pulls in the libraries and the users. Now we need to select which libraries we want to connect to Suggestar. I'm going to do movies and TV shows. If you have other categories, 3D movies, kids shows, whatever, you can select whatever you want here. Down below, I'm going to select the users. I only have one, so I'll be selecting just that one. Once you've got your libraries and your users selected, go ahead and hit next step. On to step four. It wants the Jelly Seer or Overseer URL and API key. So whichever one you're using, I'm using Overseer. So I'm gonna jump back to my Unraid server. We're gonna open up Overseer. Find Overseer in the list, click on its icon and select Web UI to open it up. Once logged in, I'm gonna grab the URL up in the top address field here. Click up there, highlight it. Control C to copy, we'll go back to suggest our under the URL field, we'll paste that in. Now we need the API key. Let's go back to Overseer. On the left, we're gonna click on settings. Then the general tab up on the top. API key is listed right here, next option down. The second icon in here is copy. Go ahead and click on that to copy the API key. We'll go back to suggest our, go to the API key field and paste it in. Hit the little play button to check. Green check mark means it's working. Now, if you read below here, it says select a local user. Only local users of Overseer, Jelly Seer can be selected. Selecting a specific user is useful if you want to disable automatic approval of requests and manually approve them before automatic downloading. The step is optional. If no user is selected, the administrator account will be used to make the requests. It's just my account. I'm fine with that. If you want to create users, then go ahead and hit create a new local user here. But I'm just going to hit next and continue on. On to step five. We've got different database options. SQLite is the default. I'm just going to go with that and click next. All right, here is where we get into the details of Suggestar, and we can really start fine tuning and getting it narrowed down to what we want. There's not a whole lot in here, but let's go through them one at a time. These next couple fields help to filter out unwanted media. The first one here, the TMDB rating threshold. The higher this number, the higher the rating that you want it to get. So right now it's set at 60, and you can see here this is out of 100. So it's 60 out of 100. So if the TMDB rating for the item is 60 or above, it's going to put it into the running as far as something to grab. The higher the number, the less results you're going to get, but you will get a higher rated media item. So I'm going to bump this up a little bit. So instead of 60, I'm going to go up a little bit. Let's go to like 75. And these we can come back later on and adjust if you're not finding enough results or you want higher quality stuff. You can go in here and adjust up or down or whatever you need to do. All right, next one, TMD minimum votes. So this field is saying how many votes does the item have to have before it's considered eligible to be put into your group of suggested media. It has to have at least 20 votes. I think that's good. Once again, you can adjust that higher if you'd like. So I'm going to leave it on 20 and move on. The next three items include content with missing ratings or votes, exclude downloaded content, and exclude watched content. I'm going to leave all those selected. That's the default. We're just going to leave it there and move on. Scrolling down, exclude genres. If there's something that you don't want Suggestar to get, then you can drop down and select whatever category you're not interested in. You know, if you don't like comedies and, you know, you don't like crime or documentaries, you can just come in here and select whatever you don't want. I'm fine with everything. I'm just going to take all those out and we'll go down to the next option. Number of seasons. This limits the number of seasons for a TV show. If you set it to zero, it includes all the seasons. Frankly, if it's getting a TV show, you're probably going to watch the whole thing. So I'm just gonna leave it on zero to get everything. Next option, select region. This will be the country that you select for you. I am in the United States. Find the country you want and select it. Exclude streaming service. If there's a service that you don't want, you can drop down and select it from the list here. Whichever ones you don't want, you can just select it, add whatever. It's just like the genres above. I'm gonna keep everything. So let's go ahead and just clear out those and we'll move on. Original language content. This is the preferred language. I'm speaking English, so I'm just going to type that in, find it in the list, and select it. Next, we have release year. Specify the earliest release year for content. So basically what this is saying is, what year do you want the cutoff to be? Currently, it's set for 2000. So what that's saying is that anything from 2000 and beyond is an option to get. I think that's reasonable. I'm going to leave it there. You can adjust that up and down to whatever you want. Once you've got your items selected, go ahead and hit next. All right, scrolling back up, we've got some additional configuration. Max similar movies. 
This defines the number of movies that Suggestar should find for each movie reviewed. Right now it's set for five, so if you have one watched movie, it's going to grab five other alternatives that are similar to it. And if you watch movies all the time, this is going to be a lot of movies that it's going to add. I'm going to turn this down. Two works for me, but go ahead and adjust whatever you think you need. Similar TV shows, once again, same thing for every show watched. How many do you want to suggest? I think two is good. We'll leave it there and we'll move on. Max content checks. This is how far back do you want suggest R to look? The default is 10. Depending on what content you view, if you do movies all the time, 10 might be fitting. If it's TV shows, that's an awful long time to go back. So I'm going to lower this myself to four looks good. All right, next down, we have search size. How many suggestions suggest R should generate for each item it analyzes? Right now it's set to 20. So every item that you've watched, it's going to find 20 suggestions and then narrow it down from there. I think that's fine. We can always adjust later on. All right, next we have cron times. This is defining when suggest R is going to run. Right now, this cron setting here is set to run at midnight, which is fine. So I'm going to move on. Next down, we have base URL subpath. This is the subpath location where suggest R will be accessed from. I just use this locally, so I'm going to leave it alone and just hit save. And there we are. We are through all the steps. Now, if we scroll back up, you'll see here that we've got the Plex URL, Jelly Seer or Overseer URL. How many similar movies do we want? How many similar TV shows? How much for each one? Database type, you know, all the stuff we set. Next cron runtime is set for 10 hours and 44 minutes from now. The current suggest our version. And down below, we've got the option to edit. We can run it now and then we can view all requests. That's pretty much all there is to it. If you wanted to run it right now, instead of waiting for you know 10 hours and 45 minutes, you can just hit run now and I'll go out and start the process in the background. We'll give it a moment, let it finish its thing. And in the meantime, let's jump over to Overseer and see what's happening over there. We'll go back to my Overseer account. We'll go up to Discover. You'll see this recent request here. This isn't something that I did. This is something that Suggestar went out and grabbed for me. Let's go back to Suggestar now. You'll see that that run process is all finished up. Down below, I'm going to click View All Requests. And you'll see there's no requests found because if we go back to Overseer here, you'll see that it did fail. Failed, 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 failed. I don't own this media, so that's why I have it all set to automatically fail everything. Going back to suggest R, I'm going to go back to home. If you find that you're getting way more options than you need, or you need to just fine tune things and make it a little more to your liking, you want to refine a little bit, you can go down to edit configuration and you're basically just going to hit next step, next step. Just keep hitting that until you get to the spot where you need to adjust the settings, which would be back here on step six. Let's say you want a higher vote. We can up this to, you know, whatever you want. 25 doesn't matter. Higher threshold rating. Let's go up to 80. You want to exclude some genres, whatever the case may be. You can just go back through here and adjust to whatever you want. Once you're done, hit save. You can either run it now or just let it run at midnight again. And there you go. Now your media library can grow just from watching your current library. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to support the channel directly, consider becoming a Patreon. Patreon members get early access to my videos, and they're both ad and sponsor free. I'll leave a link down in the description. Until then, check out one of these next, and I'll see you in the next one.